Welcome to Research Team HQ, apparently. Now, what is my goal? Right, 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 analog. Jeez. With my little pokey sword. Look up, look down, strafe left, strafe right, turn, turn. Oh my goodness. All right. I don't remember where I am. I believe that was my entrance. So this should be where I need to go through. Once again, weird long tunnels. All right. Welcome to Ixataka from Skies of Arcadia Legends, am I right? Not Ixataka itself, but that, uh, that foggy land of the dead. What the hell is this? Also... Okay, those are stairs. Gee, it looks... Without look, it looks like I'm walking off a freaking cliff. Okay, so... Too bad I can't jump, am I right? What I can do, however, is jump... Down? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. That's right. We're dealing with depth. So, uh. Yeah. Oh, is that. Is this anything or is it just a rock? No, but this. Hey guys, look, it's Miles Tails Per Hour. Also... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, enemies can do that now. It was a Jolteon the whole time. Oh, that just happened to miss. Hello. Okay. A watery gem. God, playing these games, I say these games because apparently Kingsfield plays like this, is so difficult. Ow, my brain. Wait, did he hit me with a status effect? Yeah, I'm slowed. Well, don't that beat all. Alright. Hmm. Okay, according to the guide, this is what is known as paralysis and lasts about 30 seconds, so I can deal with that. Sato no Taco, you said my mic audio is bugging out. I apologize for that. That might just be the quality of my computer. I really... I have no control over that, unfortunately. Anyway, I killed those uh, creatures. Also, I should probably... It says I can use my wind cutter wing... wing... ring to fight them, so that's fine. Anyway, I guess I can... Can I walk up this? No. This is excruciatingly slow, by the way. This is really frustrating. I hope this goes away soon. Oh, perfect timing. Huh. I'm not seeing anywhere to go unless this is a valid path, but... Oh, it is! Well, hello. Whoa! Oh, never mind. Upon closer inspection, it's a little different, but at first he reminded me a little bit of the club-wielding guys from Blight Town and Dark Souls. Also, this guy's kind of a nothing enemy. Why does he sound like a monkey? Well, got your flame gem, buddy. That wasn't so bad. A rat's tail. I believe I saw one of those in the shop before, I just don't remember what it is. Recover silence. Poison. Yeah, I don't have anything for paralysis, unfortunately. Oh well. Now we got another one of those annoying creatures. However, this is rather frustrating. 
wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I cross that bridge... Huh? Easy does it. Now, according to the guide, there might be something around here. But the question is, uh... Where? Because it's really hard to find... L look at that! The item's right here. Like, once again, I'm gonna give everyone a moment to actually... see this. Like... I'm looking directly at the item. I'm looking right at it. You could probably see it now that I'm pointing it out, but seriously, like, whoa, 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 turning around. The item is on the screen right now. The item is within my view. I can see it. Look, this, this freaking game. But I got the thing. An Echo Green Dragon, yes, that ogre was out clubbing, just like in uh, God Hand. Shouldn't have spent too much time, all that time clubbing. All right, there. So I got my uh, I got my ring of magic, which now I know I can use to forge or whatever the word is somehow craft it into rings that I can actually use. Let's see what happens if I try this uh, wind cutter ring. Whata! That's a cool effect, PS2. Okay, that's actually not bad. Costs a little magic, sure, but that's... Alright. So now... Yeah, there's something else down there. If I look down to the south... I will see... Ah, a golden herb. Yeah. And now let's try not getting, uh wrecked by this ogre. This actually does look kind of cool for an enemy. If a little cliche, like old school D&D. With an actual bone club. And a flame gem. Hooray. Alright, so follow the path. Oh, here we go. Oh, and by the way, once again, water is death in this game, so let's not, uh... Be whoa, whoa! Hello, Resident Evil 1 Moth, or Silent Hill 1 Moth. Let me just get out of this vicinity so I could go to somewhere where I could actually position myself. Nope, can't do it. He's coming. Okay, this area is getting a little crowded, I think. I wonder if fire is particularly effective on it. The answer is yes. That's kind of a cool effect, they're, just, they're down. Alright, I got myself a winged gem. Boosh. Boosh. Actually, this is pretty easy if you just walk away and don't want them to get their attack off. Alright, Winged Gem. Hooray! So what is Winged Gem? Is that like level 2 of a Feather Gem, or, or what? Also, Necro Green Dragon, yeah, Wind's Cutter really doesn't like a Pokemon move. Um, AMR15X, the gameplay makes me wonder how bosses will be. Well, the first boss of this game was a freaking joke, and the second one was slightly less of a joke. Circle strafing just breaks the game, I guess. Anyway, I got these moths. Yeah, I thought so. I thought- Whoa, hi! Whoa. Wow. He's so spry. Are you serious with this right now? Oh, level up, hey! Marvelous. Alright. Now I get not one, but two golden grasses. Yay. Again, that demon soul nod with grass. It's kind of cool. Okay, so again, I'm scrutinizing this guide. I apologize if I just stand around. I just want to make sure that I'm not going anywhere wrong. This is a freaking From Software game. You never know. Okay, but whoa. 
Looks like we have potential branching paths here. Cross the rubble, climb up, overhead walkway, turn around. Yeah, twin tail, like I thought. Alright, let's take it out. Yeah, if you just back up and let them try their twin tail move, like, they take forever to charge it, so you basically have free kills. Enemy's kind of a joke. Alright, Leaf Gem. Now it says, turn around and head east. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, so just for the enemy then. Done. God, this place really sucks to navigate for, uh, for an old school game where you don't walk right. <laughs> Oh, hey! Well, looky looky. I can't move. Looks like you've opened the water gate. This place is a mess. Thanks to the gate being opened, uh, you moved it. Just as I'd thought. Sorry? <laughs> Stranger! Then you should have been able to use that ring as well. What are you buying? I have another ring. It's useless to me. Take it with you. No way, get out of here. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. It has you. magic energy that will protect you from the poison. Oh, good. Use it to make it through the valley just ahead. Okay. There are people from the mainland beyond the valley. Those people should be able to offer you help. Treat them with much respect. You certainly could use a better weapon. Yeah, I could. What? Not again. Oh. I guess I'll just sit here while it rumbles and my controller flips it's out. It's gone. But soon, I won't be so lucky. Listen, the valley isn't very safe, but you can use the rings to aid you through your journey. Through. T-H-R-U. Oh, you can go through. What is this, a freaking, like, 1960s Spider-Man comic? My whipping goes right through him with the Sandman. Don't go past the bridge. That forest is too dangerous for you right now. What, can you, like, see my level? We'll meet again. Soon. Be safe until then. Alright. Alright. Oh, I can move. Eternal Ring. That's the name of the eternal power you're seeking. Many things sleep on this island. Magical power, demons, dragons, and even the secret of your past. Oh! It isn't just a coincidence that you've come to this island. Soon you will understand. How do you know this? Who are you? Eternal Ring. Okay. Many magic. It isn't. Well, this person is intriguing. Anyway. There we go. I believe I want to go this way. There, and this should be just, yeah, just a drop, right? Well, I guess I'm gonna take a bit of a hit. Oh, that's really minor though. All right, we're good. Hey, a magic crystal. All right, I can get behind this. Alright, let's take out this irritating creature. It's, these fights are just free as long as you don't just stand there in front of them. Alright. And look at that, a watery gem. Hooray! Okay, got that. Another magic crystal, it seems. 
Oh, by the way, that's the entrance. That's how I came in. <laughs> that's kind of interesting, actually. Anyway. Um. Hmm. That scared the hell out of me. For a second, I thought I fell in the water. I actually came kind of close. That was actually scary. And now I'm back at the uh, beginning of the dungeon. So there we go. Now make my way to the walkway where that guy is standing. Yep, let's go. Let's just go back to where that, that mysterious person was. Now that I've gotten my new items. Music's kind of rad. This is a weird, kind of convoluted dungeon. I guess we'll see where it goes and what the boss is, if anything. I'm really glad that fall damage is extremely minor. Not that I was falling a major distance, but you never know. There we go. I made it back to the guy. So now. him. Can I, can I not? Huh. Okay. This is east. Alright, I guess I'll go back a little bit. West. South. Maybe I didn't need to go all the way over here. Okay, this is where that enemy was, I believe. Now I can go up the stairs. What a concept. And it looks like there's a little bit of a gazebo up there as well. Alright, and according to the guide, there should be a magic ring in here, but I need a, w a ring that allows me to see invisible things to see it, so this is no good to me right now. Let's instead go up some more. Oh, it looks like I'm just done, right? Okay, I think I'm done with this area. Well, that wasn't terrible. God, a quick turn would be so good. Oh, wow, okay. So I have a cave and I have a bridge that leads to another cave. Apparently both of these are viable options too. Which way am I going to go, then? To the east is a cave, and south leads to the forest, which the guy said was way too difficult for me. Alright, let's go into a cave. So I went from one dungeon to another, I guess. Why not? This is awfully upbeat music for, like, a weird, creepy, abandoned cave. Uh, Dracologist, is the bridge stable? I think it actually is. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm, I'm getting hurt this whole time, jeez. Okay, equipment. I don't know if it's a magic ring or probably not. No, it is, all right. Protect. Now let's see my health. But I'm just getting her from the poison. What the hell? Uh. Oh, right, because I'm still poisoned. I gotta cure the poison. Don't I feel like a genius? Alright. Items. That's good. And. Um. Right, I need to actually heal. Golden grass is good for a lot. Okay, there we go. That wasn't terrible. Alright, I'm gonna have to keep casting Protect to protect me from poison, so welcome to Dark Souls. Hmm. It seems that the person who made the... 
meet the guide. It has a lot of rings. Well, this is a pain in my ass, but I guess this is what it is. Follow the tunnel. Huh. What? What? What is... Are we okay with this? I guess I could just stand on it. Okay, a magic stone. Ah, a save point and a place where I can make ring stuff. Marvelous. Marvelous. Now we're talking actual save point, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it's all about. Alright, let me get a little bit of room to breathe. I'm gonna see if I can make some rings. I shall pass down the thou who submit to me the gem. Okay, the question though is what kinds of rings I'm actually going to make. So according to the guy, what did this person have? I guess he did a whole bunch of stuff, right? So what can I actually make with the rings? I don't even know. Huh. I don't know, I might just have to mess around until I get something cool, I guess. Huh. I don't know, I'm trying to look up formulas and see if there's anything cool I can make. To create these rings, you need stuff I don't have. Hmm, okay. How about... Let's see. Heal water, cure. How many? Actually, wait, how many rings do I have? Oh, only three? Ooh. I have four rings that I made something out of, but then three rings that I can make into other things. I could see this becoming a nuisance really quickly. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is look up formulae for uh, nifty rings, if I can. Let's see, where is this thing listed? This person's saying we got the, uh, can I do attribution ring? I do have a collection. That's, I forgot, right, for the attribute, or the attribution ring, I don't need a magic ring to make it. That's useful. I completely forgot about that. So this person had Fireball, Wind Cutter, Heal Water, Protect, which I have, but Ice Needle. How do I make Ice Needle? That's what I want to know. I can see this getting tricky quickly. Let's see if I can figure something out. Ice Needle was... Hmm. How do I make it? That's my big question. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. And I'm sorry I'm just staring at the same screen over and over. This has got to be super boring. But... Eh. Hmm. Okay, water... It says, Ice Needle, Fire, Fire... Yeah, Ice Needle's a level 1 water spell, I guess. Um, let's see. Ice Needle. I don't know how I make it, though. Yeah, let's cancel that combination. Magic Ring. Because I have the healing water. Like, how did I make... 
the healing one first. Unless that happens to be an attribution ring. That's what I want to know. Because I see ice stuff, but I don't know how to actually make it. Unless I just use the ring itself? But that seems a little dubious. Like, for support, I made the heal water spell. I already made that. But I don't know how to make the things. This is most frustrating. How do I make an attack spell? Yeah, these are level 2 gems. That is what it is. But how do I know which thing I'm making? Like, six water gems, I think, just made the, uh, the heal water spell, as far as I know. Is there, like, a proper formula list, or what? I don't even know. Well, how about this? What if I just do... Leaf, for starters? Sure. Combine, let's do it. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. Let's see what the hell I make. Oh wait, was this the wind cutter ring? Did I just waste my time? I did just save, that's okay. I might have just made a wind cutter ring again, that would be a little embarrassing. Oh, Earth Heal. Interesting. Not what I intended to make. How do I make an attack thing, though? Like, I don't even get it. And how do I know how much... Can I, like, ask you how this stuff works? Maybe not. I shall pass down yeah, yeah, yeah. to me. You know, I wonder, you're gonna hear a little noise here. I wonder if I can actually if my instruction booklet helps me at all. I'm not sure that it does though, unfortunately. Also, I don't even know if I have it with me. That's a shame. Well, whatever. Uh hmm. Well, let's try this again. Ring of magic, see what happens. I don't know, water. Water. What is glowing? I don't even remember what that is. Oh, it's low level fire. Uh. Is, uh glowing? What if I just do six things? I don't. Or. Yeah. What if I have more water than fire? I don't know. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. I have no idea what I'm doing. Healing water again. Yeah, this is no good. Hmm. Let's do this. I'm just gonna load my game. I just saved, so this isn't a big deal. Let's try that one more time. Oh, okay. Now now that I'm checking a guide, it gives me a basic description of how to start. It says the stones I put on the left side I determine the thou. Submit. attributes of the ring, and stones I put on the right side determine the magic type. So, it says fire, wind, and light make attack types. Earth, water, and darkness make support types. That's going to help me a lot. So if I want a level 4 wind attack ring, I put three winds on the left, and just X level of attack. Okay, this makes, this makes way more sense. So in that case, okay, I think I get it. So let's do water on the left, because I want an attack spell. So if I want attack type magic, 
then it says I'm going to want to do fire and wind, right? So if I do this, let's let's see what happens. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. This might help me considerably. Let's see what happens now. Out of sheer curiosity. So, Ice Needle, we good? Yeah, okay. Alright. Doing it. Okay, now I'm feeling a little bit better. So, this person had uh, the boss ring, fireball, ice needle, wind cutter, heal, water, and protect on one hand. And then. How do I do those? Water Breeze, Ring of Breeze. Let's try this again. Water again for a Water Type Ring. But how do I do... the Breeze stuff? It's a Wind Type. Hmm. I can see this getting tricky quickly. Fire breeze. This is really throwing me off. Let's see what happens. I have no idea if I'm doing this right or what. Let me see. For breeze stuff. Let's see what's going on. It says the magic level depends on the total magic stone levels. That makes sense. So the attribute would be wind. Oh, maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's my problem. Let's make this wind instead. And then have a water type. See if this works. Maybe. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. Yeah, thanks, pal. Oh, that scared me for a second. I was like, oh, I broke. No. Okay, I'm figuring it out. So, Water Breeze... Uh, that takes care of that. Ring of Rain, though. How do I rain it up? Attribute... So, it's a water type. But how do I make it rain? This is really, like, difficult for me. So I made it a wind type, but a ring of rain. Do I just do water all the way? Just double down on water? I'll try it real quick. With my last of my watery gems. Oh, I might not even be able to pull this off. Huh. Maybe I better back off. Curious. As I'm bumbling through this freaking thing. Oh, but then again, there is Ring of Stone. I could theoretically do that. Let's try that. It was... Leaf is Earth. Let's just double down on leaves. Maybe? I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. I hope I did it right. It was really difficult for me to figure out. What a friggin' nuisance. Okay. Ring of Stone. Collection. Yeah. Easy peasy. So if we got Fireball, we got Protective Wall to protect from Sickness. That's the poison thing, the Protect Ring. Ring of Stone just increases my Earth Attribute, just straight up. Water Breeze increases Water and Wind. You could see how this could get complicated, right? Instead of doubling down on Water, I did Water and Wind. So I did a Breeze type of Ring with the Water Attribute. 
Speak actually, wait a minute. Speaking of Ring of Breeze, if it's just a plain Ring of Breeze, then maybe that's if I just go all in. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. A Neko Green Dragon, this seems more complicated than necessary. You are correct. So yeah, left side is the elemental type, and right side is whether it's attack or support. At least for magic rings. So this should just be a straight up ring of breeze. Gust. Oh, Gust, is that like a level 2 thing? In any case. God, look at all this. Ring of Gust just increases wind. Ring of Sea increases water. Ring of Stone slightly increases earth. Like, you can see how this can get complicated. Water Breeze. Uh, what else did I have? Healing Water. Ice Needle. Wind Cutter. Fireball. What's this Super Ring I made? Oh, the Boss Ring. Ring of Insight. Yeah, you can see how this can get really hard to figure out. And what is this? Is there, is there just nothing here, I wonder? Maybe not. The light and the dark elements do seem to be special ones. And then bosses. There's three of each element, and then one light, one dark. Oh, that's cool. I'm getting the hell out of here, I think. This person did say, Water Breeze... Ring of Rain. How do I even... That's right, how do I do- Oh yeah, I don't think I can get away with that. And what is just Ring of Breeze? Like, I guess that's, I guess that's the Gust one, I suppose. Whatever, I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's go ahead and equip ourselves, too. Uh, okay, Magic Rings. Fireball, Wind Cutter, Healing Water, Protect, and Ice Needle. Cool. Um... Attribute ring. Insight, sea, gust, water breeze, stone. Alright, there. I have better attributes now, or at least I think I do. God, perfecting this game is gonna be crazy hard. <laughs> and you only have such and such number of magic rings, too. Attribution rings, you could just grind for forever, just keep killing enemies, but magic rings? I don't know, man. I'm sorry, every time I go to that ring cave, I make it such a pain in the ass to deal with. So I know it must not be very fun to watch, but that's just kind of all I got. <laughs> also, am I still poisoned down here? If not, that would be Nido Keen. I think I'm good. Alright, turn south. Oh, crap. Nope, we are dealing with this crap again. Alright. First of all, let's cure my poison. Second of all... No. There it is. Okay. Continue south. This music. Oh, hello. To hell with this. Oops. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Alright, got the winged gem, got the other winged gem. Alright, I think I'm good for now. I like these giant skeletons with a magic stone. Hey! Missing something? Maybe not. No, there it is. Haha! -ha. Another magic stone. So that's good. And I'm, I'm leaving this thing up so I can read the guide and also not die. Let's see. Bones, magic stones. Alright. Let's go. God, this is awfully early in the game to be dealing with a poison dungeon. 
Not to mention a freaking upbeat music. Alright. Keep on going. Ah, crap. I'm assuming it's a dead end. With... A cockatrice feather? Really? Okay. Damn it, the poison got me. This is a difficult dungeon. And Takatrice Feather Cures Paralysis. I suppose that makes sense. Wow, that's actually gonna kill me. That was very generous healing, though. Oh, I need magic. These enemies really are nothing if you, uh, actually are careful. Whoa, whoa, oh, hi. Really with this? Well, now you're freaking dead. How do you like me now? And now I'm poisoned. That's cool. God, this game is difficult. Okay, waterfall gem. Now that sounds important. Okay, I killed those horrible monsters. Go northeast. Oh, hello. Oops. Uh, fireball. Lizard Man and Soldier. Didn't have anything to offer me, though. Okay, taking time to breathe for a moment. Let's see. To the west. This is the way I came in, though. Oh, great. Gotta say, it's kind of nice. Feather gem. Surprise, surprise. And... Whoa, hello. A spooky skeleton with a bracelet? Interesting. Not sure if I'm going the right way though. And it's very easy to get lost here. What the hell? Whoa! whoa! Wow, alright. What the hell is this weird ass creature? Jeez. You're damn right I leveled up. Holy crap. Jeez, what sort of monsters am I dealing with here? That was over the top. Okay. Alright, so. Open the large chest. Hey. Alright. That feels a little bit better. Let's see. Anything else interesting here? If I continue south, I don't care. Head north of the intersection, then go west. Alright. Are you goddamn... I'm getting really sick of getting poisoned. This is really frustrating. Like, this is killing my inventory. Alright. Head back north. I got the thing. Head north of the intersection and go west. Alright. Whoa, hello. Are you 
freaking serious with this? There, get the hell out. There we go. I feel better already. Winged gem, winged gem. Oh, feather gem, excuse me. And a feather gem, I feel a little bit better. Okay. There, head north. These guys are not doing well in this dungeon, huh? They don't seem to give me anything though, unfortunately. Okay, anything past him? Oh god, all right. Oh, that's actually dangerous. Whoa, hello. Fireball that moth, please. Are you serious? That's more like it. All right. It's killing time. That sucks. There, I feel a little better. But not better enough. Easy does it. Yeah, this game is really not going easy on me. And no drops. But there should be presence for me. Magic stone. What the hell? Oh, great. Good. God, everything's a freaking trial and tribulation. Alright. Let's deal with my new friend. God, why are you so weird? Why do you have like a pig snout, one eye? Everything is bizarre. Gotcha, though. Thank you for your magic stone and flame gem. Yeah. And another magic stone. I feel better already. This game is freaking difficult. Okay. Uh, Fakavan, have I heard of the White Day remake? Yeah, I actually have it. Uh, I look forward to playing it. <laughs> I got it on PS4. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Giant Moth, Three Twin Tails, Tunnel Entrance. Oh, no way. This is gonna be good news for me, I think. First, I'll open this. A Cloudy Gem, thanks. Now. Is there anything else here? Possibly. Oh, wow. Okay. Just kills? Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of here for a moment, because I think I might be in for a little bit of good news. If I'm lucky, maybe? Don't know? Yeah, here's a little tunnel, right? Yeah, save point. Wait, are you- don't even- Wow, this game's a dick and a half, I swear to god. All right, golden grass. Right, 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 right. Golden grass, Sahagin's thorn, and magic stone, why not? And save. Oh my god, I feel so much better. So much better. There. Finally, a save point in a dungeon. Can you imagine? Hey. Large chest. 
Okay, I actually want to go in that tunnel I just came from. So that's fine. Now that I have, uh, saved, I feel a little better. There, I want to go in this way. God, this dungeon's freaking Blight Town, I can't even believe it. Or that swamp from Demon Souls. Alright, I'm in the Moth Cave. Ah, jeez, and now there are multiple ways to go. Pausing, because I don't want to waste time with my Protect Ring. Oh my god. Okay, so... I'm in the opening, three giant moths, I can shoot them. Exit into the small chamber, there are two exits. I want to go northeast. Alright, fine. That's this way. More enemies. Oh, nice. Alright. Two magic stones, get out of here. And a winged gem, I'm getting better gems it seems. It looks like this is the only thing that was in this chamber though, I think. Once again, I'm gonna pause to check because I'm a dirty cheater. Alright, so, there are two moths, two magic ores. Okay, that was it. Go through the south exit. I think I'm actually coming on a boss. Or at least the end of the dungeon. Wait, this is north. Yeah, good, okay. I wanna go this way. Now what the hell is at the end of this tunnel? Great. Please don't shoot me with a laser eye. Thank you. Oh, and he's got friends. Alright. I feel a little safer. Magic stone. Flame gem. Marvelous. He does it. Oh, two drops. Leaf and waterfall. Wow. Getting level two stones now. I can make some cool rings, potentially. There it is. Alright, you're dead. And that's the way I came in. So now I'm back at the entrance. And... Another cockatrice feather. Okay. God, this is stressful as hell. So, I got the cockatrice. Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Apparently, there's an exit here that takes me to a place I really don't want to go to yet, but... Oh, wait, no. There's another invisible ring in here. I can't deal with that. Alright, which way am I going, then? Alright, this tunnel entrance... Yeah, the, okay. Yeah, th this leads me to a place I don't want to go to and have no return from. Yeah, that hole, that's probably death. Was there anything else then? Yeah, southeast of the tunnel. Oops. Right, southeast. Yeah, another laser eye weird ass creature. I'll take my magic stone though, thanks. Ow, my brain. This is just the weirdest freaking creature. I don't get these things at all. And what the hell is that sound? What is that? What? Wait, what? I'm looking up to see where the sniper's coming from, but I'm not seeing it. I don't know. Anyway, I killed that awful thing. If I continue past the pile of bones, I'll find that. Turn around, follow the tunnel north. Okay, back to where I came in. Fine, I can do that. 
So that was just for kill enemies. Oh, hi. Where the hell did you come from? And you're dead. Glad about that. See ya, buddy. Okay. So now go past where I entered. There'll be a steep path leading north. Alright. That is a steep path. Goodness gracious. There's a chest. Which appears to be unguarded. Hey, Ring of Magic. Do you think this game's gonna have mimics? Makes me nervous. Also, I think I might finally be done with this awful dungeon. Mainly, it's awful for the poison, more than anything else. The dungeon itself is okay. Alright, I guess I'm out of here. Thank you. That was horrible. Let's see if I get poison when this protect wears off. Also, what? I have another warp point? Let's see. When I enter the tunnel... Mm hmm Uh-huh. Yeah, we got a warp point and a... Yeah, let's make some cool rings if I can. If I can get away with it. <sighs> Alright. So let's see if I can make any cool new stuff. I shall pass thou. Submit to... Pass down the secrets of the ancients, buddy. Alright, can I make any, like, cool super rings, maybe? Oh, I am... Oh, no, that's for Ring of Magic. We're good. But as for my gem count, though, like, uh eh. Although I do have some level 2 stuff. So what can I do with my level 2 stuff? Uh, Ring of Rain, Ring of Abyss. Are these, are these attribute rings, or am I still... Uh, yeah, I'm on attribute. I don't want attribute right now. Let's see. Uh-huh. Unique ring list. How do I make that, though? How the hell do I do that? Or is it just where they're found? Maybe that's all it is, just where they're found. Alright, fine. So, I have Fireball, right? So why don't I do... To the type. Let's see, to create these. Oh, the same level. So I would need. Hmm. Six Phoenix Stones, level four Fire Moon Stones, level one Fire Summon Ring Blade. Six level four Stones required to make level one Summon Rings. Okay. But that's Summon Magic. I don't want that. Support Magic. Can I get like a level two Fireball? probably can. The magic level, the rain depends on the total magic stone levels. Okay. So yeah, let's go... Yeah, let's go all in. Do it. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. So that'll be nice for a little while. I'm assuming fireball level two. Floating bomb? Excuse me. A great ball of fire? It's considerably more expensive, of course, but... Huh. Is there a way of telling, like, how much each stone is worth? Hmm. Oh well, that's it for my fire rings. Why don't I make an attribution ring? Because that's the cool thing to do, I guess. If I could raise my stats, then why not, right? Because my level 
doesn't matter too terribly much for that. Let's see, that's support magic. Actually, yeah, wait a minute. If I can make a cure water spell. Support type is, uh. It's fire, and it's so. Why not? See what happens? I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. I should print out a formula guide or something like that, like, way the hell he's here. But we'll see what this makes for Asher B. Ring. Oh no, this might not even be. No, this isn't Asher B. Ring. I'm gonna use a ring of magic. So I probably made a stupid ring, actually. I kind of wanted to, uh. Whatever. Don't care. Too late now. Oh, that actually sucks, because I already made a ring of C. That sucks. Well, there go my water things. I should have done it with a magic ring instead. That sucks. Alright. Attribute ring, let's go. Um... Oh, I have a level 3. Let's go super winged. And then, I don't know. Leaf, glowing leaf? Sure, why not? I, pass down the knowledge of I think I'm gonna be making redundant rings, but at least these stones aren't hard to come by. I'm probably making stupid decisions. Let's see what I get. Fire breeze. All right, now we're talking. That's a bit different. Okay. Now, magic ring, because why not? Let's do... Super winged. And let's get a little support magic up in here, huh? I hope this works. Pass down the knowledge of the ancients. This game's complicated. <laughs> See we get, if anything. Hope it's something good. Sonic? That sounds badass. Alright, and finally, let's do, uh... Call it quits for now. So Sonic is level two. Shoots swords of wind, so it's the better gust or better wind cutter. And I love how I went straight to level three fire magic. Jeez. You know, that's a fire type. Nah, I can't get away with it. I don't have strong enough stones. Alright, I'm out. That's still cool, though. Alright, see ya, buddy. And I think I'm approaching a save point, too. Damn, I would have liked to have made that that water thing. I would have liked to have made a, a magic ring instead of an attribution ring, but it is what it is. Ring of C. Fire breeze. Fire and wind. Water and wind, fire and wind. And a stone. Slightly increases earth, I don't know. Increases water. So the question is, do I want to increase fire and wind or water and wind? I already have a ring of C, I screwed that one up. To hell with it. I think I'm probably good with magic rings, honestly. Although I am curious about... I just make like a proximity super fireball, it's kind of badass. Wind goes way up, jeez. Fire... Straight up doubles. God damn. That's badass. Oh, I forgot, yeah, because I think I made this fire thing with a little bit of wind, it also increases... 
the wind attribute. That's kind of cool. I like that. In any case. Oh my god, it's a save point. Yes, please. Oh my god. This game's difficult. Alright, well, now I have saved, so I did that. Okay, where am I going? Oh, hello. And there's a person here, too. Yeah! Also, this place has three floors. This could get frustrating, I think. Hmm. There are two exits and a ramp. Exit through which I entered. On the second floor, this, that, and the other. Alright, so yeah, first things first. Let's talk to you. Who's there? A Hungarian emblem. You're a knight from the retinue, are you not? I thought the people on the shores were the soldiers sent by the elders. The retinue is on the king's side, right? Why are you here? This area is dangerous, especially the forest. There were three of us, but one of our party fell off a cliff and was killed. He must be around somewhere in the cliff area. I've searched for him, but was unable to find him. I was hoping to find a memento so I could give it to his family back home. Oh, I know about that. But that area is now filled with poison, and we can't get near it. Yeah, that's it. Even a knight such as yourself can't do anything about this. No, I think we're good. We came to this island in search of valuable items so that we could sell them back on the mainland. We were exploring this area. We used this tree as a place to sleep. <laughs> but poison has been drifting into the valley these days. We want to go back, but we can't. There are many savage beasts in the forest now, and it is much too dangerous to travel through. I wonder how long we'll be stuck here. Keep going. It looks like there was a great war on this island long ago. There are signs of this battle throughout the island. There are also areas that indicate that there was some sort of natural disaster. There must have been some giant beast wreaking havoc. Oh, it's scary if you think about it. I wonder when we're going to be able to go home. Okay, so guess what? Bracelet. Jewelry found on dead body at Valley. Right? So... Use. Splendid. You have my complete gratitude. Now I'm sure he can rest in peace. Please, take this. It's a little thank you from me. Oh, yeah. And to get to the deeper areas of this island, there is a hole in the valley that becomes a steep path. If you go down that hole, you can get into the deeper areas. However, you will need to find another way back. That reminds me, not long ago, I told another person about that hole. He looked like a swordsman. Oh, yes. <laughs> Most excellent. That was weird. Oh, yes. <laughs> the swordsman who came before you had gray hair and brown armor. He asked about the deeper parts and then left right away. It seemed as if he was worried about something. But I don't remember seeing a Hungarian emblem on him. That is some funky typing. I apostrophe don't. <laughs> I don't remember seeing a Hungarian emblem. going to be able to go home. Okay, so I think we're done with that. So, let's go up stairs. I can't really call them stairs, but you know. Okay, looks like this whole floor is dedicated to one thing. Hello, you. 
It's so nice of you to go and get the memento for us. This is a small token of our appreciation. Please, take it. Oh, no way! The mission that you have been given seems like a difficult one. I wish you the best of luck. This is awesome, though. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Of course, <laughs> nothing is free. But we'll talk. Why is every store owner, like, creepy? What do you need? Alright, so golden grass, flower, and fruit. Uh, once again, we're healing a mount, a mount, and a mount of HP. But fortunately, stones, crystals, and jewels heal amounts. Curse, I still haven't needed that. Saga and Thorn, I'm gonna be good about that for now. What? A short sword that's wide and heavy, stronger offense? A Synquidia? I've never heard of that. But I think we're actually good. Do you know a woman named... Lila? I I if you see her, please, bring her to me. Huh. I've met her several times. It seems she lives here on this island. I tell her stories, and she listens with such interest. She wants to learn about life outside this island. Okay. I would like to talk to her and see if she can help me get back to the mainland. Okay. What do you need? You know, just to see if he says anything different, I'll buy one thing. I'll buy another Sagahen's Thorn. Oh, that's right. How much does this cost? Three, it costs three things. Oh, it costs one, Jen. That's what it is. Alright, we're out. Reminds me. I saw a monster flying towards the volcano. It had the body of a human. Oh, we've and seen the that. Of a demon. I've never seen anything like it. But then again, before I came here, I only heard stories about things like that. Alright. What do you need? There used to be one more in our group. But he fell off a cliff and died. Take care. <laughs> Jeez. What do you need? You can get to the beach by going through the forest, or the valley below the forest. It's easier to go through the valley, but there is poison blocking the way. Yeah, the forest might have been a harder dungeon, but that cave with the poison sucked. <sighs> well, I think we're actually good. Now let's see what we got, because re remember, get a load of this, right? I have my knife. Look at that dinky little thing, right? Now, with the knife, we have strength 17. With a small sword, it goes up to 22. And considerably better reach, by the way. Now, then we have a rapier. 27! The standard sword, balanced for strength and speed. Oh, it's a slash, is it? A slash and a poke. Huh, huh! I wonder if that counts for two hits. I'm actually curious. Oh, interesting. What's the time? Time of Earth? I'm curious, because the guide is saying I might actually be able to pick something up if I come here, like, at night. I just don't know if time passes when I'm... Oops. That's fine. I don't know if time passes when I'm in this village, though. It's difficult to determine. I'm actually curious now. I definitely want to see if I could come here at night. Because I might be able to grab something. There, I'm protected. 
and there may or may not be enemies here. The nah, enemies might still be dead. Damn, I just can't tell when time passes. It's a little frustrating. Nah, it's just one hit. I can three shot him? Damn. Okay, time is definitely passing. You know, I'll see what happens, because at night, certain characters can be sleeping, and I would... Whoops. And I would like to catch him while he sleeps. Yeah, see, one reason I'm kind of irritated that I used up my water gems on a not magic ring is that I might be able to make a cure ring. I don't know if it would actually cure poison. Like, his cure, you never know what status it actually cures, but that would have been amazing. Alright, let's take a look at, uh, if I can catch these guys unawares. I guess it's a little darker. Not sure if it's dark enough, though. No. See, what I want to do is this. Hey! Don't mess around with that. Right? I want to catch this guy when he's sleeping, and I want to mess around with that. Also, how did I... Oh, that, that is a hard... That's hard to see. Alright, definitely want to come here when it's even darker. I apologize for doing this back and forth, I really do. But I would like to get a free item. I don't know if it's better than what I have, but it is free, so there's that. I do like that though, like, hey! Don't touch that. And as someone said in the chat, he does kinda look like Happy Mask Salesman. Which is unnerving. Damn! I could get used to this. Five shot, you know. Ooh, more water gems. Waterfall, even. Yes, please. That's particularly what I want. Time of dark. Oh, baby. Alright, let's see if I can do this. If I could pull this off, that would be amazing. Again, I really am sorry for looking at this monotonous brown everything cave but if I can get what I want then we're gonna have a good time god that that guy with uh, the, the scar for the turban or whatever who gave me the protect ring what a freaking hero all right let's see if it's dark enough because that would be wonderful uh, and yes in the chat apparently that weird freakish creature is called a catoblepas or, or Something like, however it's pronounced. I remember seeing that in Dungeons and Dragons way back in the day. Alright, now here's my question. Is it dark enough? That's the big question. Oh, alright. Hmm. Well, that is something, but that's not what I want. The thing I'm looking for should be in that box. So...
Cat music's so weird. Okay. I, I reset the box, so let's try this again. I apologize if this gets grindy, but we'll see if the results are worth it. Man, come on with this. Well, off we go again. I will get this thing. I hope. Easy does it now. <sighs> Sorry that this is what it apparently takes, but it is what it is. Here we go. Let's check Mr. Shady uh, Shopkeeper again. Come on, help me out. Man, this thing is frustrating. And he doesn't have anything going on in these other boxes. It's all about that left one. And I want what's in it. Oops. That was clumsy. Also, I love that goofy sound when I hit the ground. It sounds like a freaking... I don't know what it sounds like. Minor explosion? <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's, that song. Oh, gotta get lucky, I guess. We'll see what happens. Moment of truth, huh? Help me out. Man, this game is killing me here. Who would have thought the hardest challenge would be, like, opening that box and having something be in it. I don't know what to tell you. Fortunately, it's not that hard to go to a loading zone. Also, um, according to the guide, I should probably buy a bunch of magic restoratives. That makes me nervous. I guess, surprise, surprise, this entire game revolves around magic, but still, it makes me a little nervous when the guide's like, oh, you're gonna want to stock up. Moment of truth? Damn, like, I, I really don't get it. Like the guide says, it's not always there. I don't know if that means I have to like, it, it says check back. It says keep checking back. I would assume warping away and closing the box again counts as doing that, but I don't know. Ups a daisy. Six times a charm. Damn. You know what? I'm gonna go into the dungeon. Maybe that'll make a slight difference. I have no idea how this game works. Oh, time does pass when I'm in the village. Okay. Maybe I should have saved before trying this thing then. Well, joke's on me, I guess. There, is that far out enough for you, game? Also, is it me or is this cave brighter? I hope it's not daytime. Ooh, I think I might have spent the whole freaking day. No, we're good. But... Jeez, I really don't know if, like, what I'm doing is making a difference or not. Oh, that actually hurt. Most frustrating. Oh yeah, there's a save point. I don't freaking know. I have no idea. I'm 
most frustrating. Wow. I spent the whole night looking for this damn box. Hey! Don't mess around with that. What a freaking dick. What do you need? You can get to the beach by going. It's easier to go through. Ah, oh, what a pain in my ass. He should have some kind of sword in there. I just don't know if it's better than what I have or not. I will, however, save. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wander the dungeon and try killing stuff to at least find a decent way to occupy my time. I'm gonna give one more cycle a shot. See if anything happens. shot at him? Did it matter that I was behind him or what? Because that was crazy powerful. Too bad protect is expensive. It's a nice spell. Oh well, this gives me more waterfall gems. I'll happily do this to try to get a ring. Four shots, damn, and I leveled up. Okay. I can easily get used to this. I am perfectly content with this. Oh, whoops, that's not where I want to go. No. Sorry, it's a little hard to see openings and walls. I can't tell where I was supposed to have come from. Now I'm just wandering around in circles in a poison cave. Very healthy. Oh, here we go. Okay. No. I don't remember where the freaking exit was. Other than this, that's the way to a new dungeon. I don't want that. Oh. Well then. No, this- oh, so it was the other way. Okay, that well, this is the exit of the new dungeon. Don't I feel like a genius? There we go. Ow, something hit me. Oh, I apparently killed two moths with one swing. Alright. I'll take it. God, this place is so toxic. It's ridiculous. Ah, crap. It's really not fair. This freaking poison. I can't even grind here for very long. Maybe we should buy more Sagahem's Thorns. Man, I could two-shot these things. It feels so good. And I'm getting waterfall gems. Yes, please. This is marvelous. This is so satisfying. And just like that, I might be able to make a new, uh, like a cure ring, possibly. Time of winds. Damn it, give me time of dark already. As cool as it is to be able to two-shot these enemies, this cave kind of sucks. I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh right, that's the way back into the... Or it's not the way back, but that shows... The room that was previous. Prior, I don't know. I guess as long as I kill enemies, I can easily buy more magic stones. It costs one each. That way I can continue to grind, I suppose, if I have to. Got all these waterfall gems. This is gratifying, I'm telling you. This music, again, though, feels so awkward for where I am. Like this horrible poison cave. Well, made it through the cave. Yay! Oh wait, the, the chat's talking about sad stories and games. Well, Galarian's is pretty sad, but like I, I really gotta give it to Mother 3. Mother 3 was freaking miserable, especially the prologue. That game hit hard right at the beginning. I assume Mr. Shopkeeper is up and about because why wouldn't he be? What do you need? Yeah, six waterfall gems. Oh, baby. You can get to the beach by going... It's easier to go through. Six waterfall gems is freaking... marvelous. If I can make a cure gem, that'd make my life considerably easier. I will go ahead and save, though. All I want to do is give this game one more night cycle, and I'll try looking for that sword that the guy's supposed to have in his box. If I get it, great. If I don't, too bad. But that'll be when I call it a night. Hmm, what's the saddest game? I have heard a lot of people say The Walking Dead, the Telltale game, but I haven't played it. Uh, aspects of Corpse Party were absolutely freaking miserable. Any of the Corpse Party. Some of those were really rough. Uh, the Last of Us hits pretty hard on a consistent basis. Again, Mother 3. Parts of Mother 3. Especially the beginning. That was awful. Ah, no drop. I'm trying to think. I, I don't think I've played too terribly many games that were just for the sadness. Like, the primary thing about the game is that it's sad. Okay, that's actually really starting to hurt. Feather gems. The end of Mother 3? Uh, I mean, there were parts of the end of Mother 3 that were rough, but I really gotta say, it was the prologue that got me the most. Vice disagrees with me, like, the part that got him the most was a certain boss fight, but for me, it was totally the prologue. I mean, he's he's right. That boss fight sucks, but like the prologue has just happened to hit me harder. Although the variant of that game was pretty crazy, I won't go into that, but that took a turn. Go 
right back in that cave. Because I didn't want to go out this way. Once I go this way. It's time of light. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Whoops. I'm still gonna get used to my looking up and down stuff. Sorry about that. Every once in a while I look in weird directions. That'd be why. Because it's weird and awkward. This music really is, like, disturbingly peppy. It's like, what is up with this? Silent Hill 2? Yeah, good point. Silent Hill 2 has a lot of sad moments, especially when you watch the videotape. That was pretty damn rough. Oof. Good thing that the hitbox lingered. I keep forgetting about that freak enemy. The Catablebus, Catablebus, I don't know how to freaking say it. This weird laser eye, I don't understand that at all. I can four shot it? Nice. It gives me flame, I like that too. Fragile Dream- Oh, good point. Fragile Dreams was rough. And yeah, the punch after punch. Yeah, what, what really got me were uh, two characters' final scenes. Like, in a row. That's awfully vague for anyone who doesn't know the game, but like, man, that was rough. And by the way, as it happens, when I recorded that particular installment of the game, which actually featured both characters, like, in, in one. There we go. Um, that, like, the the video turned out to be unusable, so I actually had to re-record it. So I had to sit through that twice. That sucked. Ugh. Or in the Blind Forest. I still need to play that, actually. It's actually a patron request, so it's coming. There we go. Good save, good save. Bioshock 2. Bioshock 2 had some disturbing moments. I wouldn't call it a sad game, but like, everything sucks. <laughs> Freaking poison cave. What time is it? Time of fire. We're getting there. I'm sorry this is taking a while and it's just mindless grinding, but you know the good news is I won't have to grind like when, if, if the guy ever says, oh, it's gonna be hard, you better grind. Like I'm just doing it now for the stupid stiletto. So I guess that's something, right? At least my, my passing the time is productive. my level. Bam. Feels good, man. This is actually also a good way to grind for money and for ring creation. These waterfall gems. Oh, baby. Oh, I don't want that cave. I get sweet, sweet level 2 ring action. Yes, please. The opera scene in FF6, oh god, it has been way too long. I've heard that was really sad, but I haven't, like, I don't remember it. It's been way too long for me to appreciate the opera scene, I'm afraid. I'm an uncultured swine. Probably shouldn't even deal with the moths. That they're probably not worth the trouble. And considering they're freaking moths, I doubt their experience is anything to write home about. 
Also, you like how I only have one item that I'm allowed to have shortcut? You know, every once in a while I used to be healing myself suddenly without going to inventory. It's because I have golden grass set to heal. Even though now that I think about it, actually... Yeah, you know what? You know what? Now that I think about it... I could always buy more golden grass, I guess, but... Nah, you know, I guess it doesn't matter. I was gonna talk about how- oh, but uh, but magic stones, I have so many of those, but I gotta buy those too. So it makes no difference. Time of fire, by the way, we're getting close. Chrono Cross... Again, I haven't seen Chrono Cross since college, and I'm very spotty on the plot, because I didn't play it myself. I watched a friend of mine play through the game, so most of what I remember is just endless battles, and how hard that last boss was. Because if you want like, a good ending, you have to beat him on some phase. Like, you have to do these like six color things in a row, and it's apparently a real pain in the ass to get synced up right. I remember my friend doing that. Also, by the way, that soundtrack is freaking magical. That still hit me? Come on. And now you're dead, buddy. Flame gem, thank you. Still time of fire. I'm waiting for that time of dark. And when it comes, I'm going to do an all-nighter for a damn sword. So, I'm gonna cut the stream when I get the sword, or when the time of dark is over. Whichever comes first. Boom, we're out of here. Oh, Dragon Zero Thirteen. Yeah, RPG makers, uh, quality varies, obviously, but that's the case with any game. Like, I think, um, I don't think it was RPG Maker specifically, but the original Corpse Party, before the PSP release, was made on some kind of game maker software. I forgot what it was called, but it just really took off. And I think you straight up fight Sachiko at the end, with, like, RPG turns. It's like, what? <laughs> It kind of takes you out of the mood. I think I prefer the remake, where you don't fight her because she's kind of above that. But, whatever. Boom. Get out of here. Time of Earth, we're, we're getting there. Such monotony, but what did I expect? All I want is a damn stiletto. That's all I want. Am I asking for so much here? Still time of Earth. Oh yeah, Dragon Ace. Yeah, unnecessary boss fights in a horror game? Did somebody say Clock Tower 3? Wow, you are not kidding. Those boss fights were not only... I don't know if gratuitous is the word, but they felt just tacked on. Like, you gotta have a boss fight, and you go into a freaking henshin magical girl transformation sequence. Like, what? Is this the same game? What the hell is this? Clock Tower 3 is pretty cool. Those boss fights were... What? I will say that the bosses themselves were generally pretty scary. And there are some genuinely creepy cutscenes with them too. The bosses, that is, before you fight them. I 
I wonder, does he go off if I just hack away? Nice. All right, more efficient Catablevos fighting. Yeah. Flame gem, baby. Oh yeah, Derek, uh, Clock Tower 1 was fantastic. Clock Tower 2 was also pretty okay, although the story kind of got ridiculous. Actually, kind of started ridiculous with the whole Blake. According to the instruction manual, Blake is a, a multiple personality, like a second personality, but when I first played the game, it was on an emulator in college, so I had no manual. So the game itself never explains Blake. As far as I remember, there's like, you have no clue who Blake is. Without the manual, you're like, what is going on? Like, do I have multiple personality disorder? Or like, do I, or dissociative identity? Or, um, Am I being possessed? Because, like, Blake definitely has a man's voice. Even with DID, I don't think my character could pull that off, but whatever. So I was confused for years until I finally got a copy of the game, and it's like, oh yeah, it's a split personality. Like, alright. <laughs> Guess that's what's happening then. Clock Tower, no, Clock Tower 3 you couldn't take seriously? I mostly could take it seriously, except for the last, like, not the final boss, but the last dungeon boss, that was, like, I, I could, that I could not take seriously. Oh, also, yeah, you make a good point, Neko Green Dragon, running away from the bosses, that's always been a Clock Tower thing, but then you fight them, and it's like, wait, Alright, I guess I could just do that the whole time. Sure, why not? Alright, let's see if it's dark enough that I could try searching this guy's boxes. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, Call of Cthulhu. I, I still have to play Call of Cthulhu. I'm happy that it's finally on Steam. Although, apparently the PC version's always kind of wonky. Like, I wonder how the Xbox version is. Like, OG Xbox. I wonder if that's more stable because it's an Xbox game on an Xbox system. Instead of like, let's see if your computer can handle this. <laughs> Alright, here's a question. Can I start checking this guy's stuff? That's my big question. I can. Help me out. Uh, this game is an asshole and a half. Well, here we go. The journey begins. Good thing I just saved, right? Actually, wait, did I just save? Let's just do that again. <sighs> oh wait, I forgot. I don't need to go into the dungeon anymore. I could just go into the warp thing, which is slightly quicker. Let's try it. Oh, someone suggested to reset the game if the box is empty? Ugh. I mean, I can do that, but... With with my setup, resetting's really not a good idea because it'll disrupt my capture program and therefore break the stream. So, I'll, I'll reset all I want once the stream is over and see if that makes any kind of difference, but I'm not gonna risk it right now. I'd really rather not. Although, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! But I could load my game. I could do that. Let's see if that makes a difference. Not only that, but loading my game gives me infinite time. <laughs> I don't know if this will actually work or not though. That's my problem. Like, am I completely wasting my time? Who knows? Makes me nervous. I don't know, we'll see. Why didn't I think to do this before? At least I leveled up considerably though, that's always good. Like, I don't know if I'm completely wasting my time or not. I have no idea. 
That's what gets me really nervous. You know what? Let's make this try my second to last try. Whatever comes after that, I'll, I'll make myself a ring and then I'll call it, call it a night. This is driving me freaking insane though. Because the guide says keep checking back. So I don't know. So this will be my last load. I'll check the box, go in the warp zone, and then check the box again. That'll be it. And then I'll go in the warp zone and make my ring if I do it right this time, I hope. Huh? I do not get it. I really don't. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Anyway, warp zone. Whoops. I meant to press R2, I actually pressed R1, so I just strafed right off the ledge. Whoops, sorry. Alright, warp time. Let's see if I do it right. I shall pass thou. Submit to Magic Ring. Oh, I have a thousand waterfall gems. I feel great about this. Boom. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. Come on, Super Ring. Or am I gonna go critical level 3? Should I have toned it down a little bit? Cure- Hey! Healing. Cure it. Oh, it doesn't cure status effects, it just recovers HP more. Well, you know what? I'm still happy I made it. That's still something. Now for Attribution Ring... Jeez, what do I make? Why don't I... make... Attack Style... with water to back it up? Does that make any kind of difference? I have no I freaking clue. down the knowledge of the ancients. Let's see. Did I make a cool ring? Is my ring amazing? Okay, I'm getting goddamn sick of making these rings of C. I really am. Uh. Hmm. Wait, what if I go crazy and just do like weird rainbow ring? What if what if my stuff just gets bonkers? Who the hell knows, right? The knowledge of the ancients. Let's see if the game knows what to do with this. That looks new. Water heat. Hello. Where does that- oh, is that way at the end? Slightly increases water and fire. And I guess it's more of a fire ring than a water ring. That's kind of cool, though. Alright. Well, I got my curing ring. That was not the... Stop... Status effects ring that I'd hoped for, but you know what? It's still cool that I made it. I added it to my collection. Hooray for me. Now... It's time of dark, all right. I'll check this guy out, then I'll save my game, and I'll call it a night. I really wonder if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. You know what, one more save load for the road.
there I made nifty new rings. Hooray! Okay. Save load for the... for posterity. Oops. I am up against the wall. There we go. Okay, super duper for real. I promise last time this is a... All I want to see is if there's anything in that box. That's all I want. This game is cruel. Well, it is what it is. That's okay, the box is empty. Anyway, that is my stream. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good time. So, have a wonderful night.